On this video, we're going to create a download page. This is where the subscribers go and they click on the confirmation link that arrives in their email. But before we create the page, let's first set it on our autoresponder. To set that, let's go to subscribers tab. And below this, under opt-in settings, we're going to put in the confirmation page URL the download page. Earlier we have noted in our notepad the download page. So let's just copy that one. So let's do Control C and to paste that just click on Control V. So that's where users we all the members will go when they click on the confirmation link. That's the download page. So once you're happy with all their settings, just click on save settings here. Uh, we have a confirmation that says your subscription settings have been saved. There it is. So that's where the users go when they click on the confirmation link. That's the download page. So let's create a download page using our, the Composer software. So using this Composer HTML editor, let's create a download page. So do the formatting. Let's say thank you for your purchase. Please find below plugin details to your okay, to the membership site. So below this we're going to post the username which is created as member and the password which is password. And let's also put the login URL here. The domain and the directory for the membership site we created is the membership demo. So membership demo. Now let's make this here. So there you go. Now let's save this file and upload it to our server. So it is asking for the page title that's signed. Uh, Demo deal. So let's go demo download. Let's click OK. Let's save this on our desktop. Over here we have noted the name for the download page which is demo download.htm. What we're going to do is to copy this file name and name it on the download page we are creating. So that's it. Demo download htm. Let's save that. Let's minimize this window. And using our smart FTP software, let's upload the demo download file. So it's the preview here. Let's upload that on our direct server. So let's put it in a on the Let's drop it there. So you can see here that it's uploading. So there it is. Now let's check on let's check this download page if it works well. If it works well. Open a new tab. Let's paste that URL. Now there it is, so it's working fine. So that's the username and the password. But this is not hyperlink, so let's edit that one. Back to the composer software. Let's highlight the link and let's hyperlink that. Just click on the link above. That's it. So let's hyperlink and let's open that in a new window or if you want to. So that's it and save it again. And upload it on the server. So tap and replace. So it replaces the older file. Let's refresh this page. So there it is. The login URL is now hyperlinked, so users can just click on that and enter the username and the password. So let's try entering a username and password. So member, pass me. Let's click OK. Now it's giving a forbidden error because there's no index file within the directory. So 
let's see how this works. So we can see that under the membership demo directory there's no index file. So we have the demo.htm. So let's type in demo.htm. So there it is. This is a demo.htm so members have to enter the username and password to be able to view that page. So we're going to change that into index and browse through membership demo. I will give you that page. So users have to enter their username and password to be able to go to this page or the membership site. So that's the end of this video. On the next video, we'll see you on how to load the autoresponse email.